What's going on, collective? Oh, welcome back to the jewelry box with your girl Jess. Here to drop some jewels. This message is timeless, so whenever you find it, it's for you. So, this is a Sunday message. It's kind of looking like the weekly message today. That's what it really felt like, like weekly energy. You could be seeing crows or morning doves. You could be seeing pennies. Something with the color green or like triangles or green triangles. Okay. Could be listening to LMA, a lot of LMA. Okay. Something could have happened in the month of May. But we're going to drop into this. Um, I was hearing word on the street is you the truth, right? You got people scared. People scared and they watching you, which is okay. So you got people, you got people spying on you, lurking you, watching you, okay? Um, for various reasons. For the most part, the people who are watching you, they're scared of you. They're very much so um, intimidated. A lot of people also want to know what it is that you're up to because you have been incognito and they don't, they People are being those and they're trying to figure out what you're up to. Um, I feel like there's also been some rumors and gossip going around for some of you guys. Somebody has been spreading some nasty rumors or trying to talk about you or what you're up to. Even though nobody knows what you're up to, but somebody is trying to put out a narrative on you. I feel like people are looking at this person like they're dumb. Like the ball is definitely in your court here, okay? Um, I feel like somebody could want to come in and apologize or um, tell you what has been happening or what they've been a part of. Um, somebody wants your forgiveness, okay? The ball is definitely in your court. I do feel like this is happening very, very soon. Like, with this new moon or that full moon eclipse actually pushed this energy out and forward to, like, get this happening, okay? This could have been taking place since two weeks ago with that full moon eclipse we had. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, the ball is definitely in your court here, okay? I feel like you have been isolated. You've been in Herman mode, and like I said, people don't know what's going on. Um, there's concerned people, and I'm getting a lot more like um, family. Somebody you may have a family with might be in-laws, extended family. This could be people that you feel are like family or, you know, you once treated them like family, Okay. I feel like somebody definitely tried to mess with your finances and um, probably had you in a bad place, but you uh, you got it together. And the thing is somebody, for some of you guys, like someone doesn't feel that you were able to bounce back off of whatever deficit they place you in. For others, it's, it's scaring somebody how you were able to bounce back, okay? Could be something... Um, with red wine more in particular, because I started hearing that, like the stallion. Red wine, somebody could be by the countryside or at a vineyard, okay? Um, let's see. So we're going to start with the love and light cards. Um, underneath your deck, it says, see everything through the eyes of love, okay? Ooh. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. Okay. And I feel like, you know, you have people around you who are impatient, people around you who are being unkind, people around you who are jealous, people who are around who is boasting, people who are around you who is too proud, you know, people around you who are being rude. Okay. People who was trying to control you, people who weren't trying to let life, let life live. Or let love live in life or something like that. I'm hearing it. Yeah. Okay. You got people around you who are upset that you moved out of a space of love, right? People who are trying to close up your heart chakra didn't want you to speak up. People who didn't want you to be connected to God, right? People who didn't want you to operate for your higher self. People who want you to still be chained to the devil. Mm, that's quick. What card we got here? 
Become still so you may hear God, okay? And I feel like that's what you guys have been doing, 444, as I'm saying that. And that's why you're protected, why you've been protected from all this, like, backlash or whatever traps or anything that somebody's been trying to set. Like, that's why um, the rumors are falling on deaf ears. Um, whatever somebody's trying to send or do to you, they're getting instant karma. When I tell you it's, like, instant, it's, like, <laughs> what, what did she, hold on. Might get my feelings hurt today. I don't give a fuck tomorrow. And it's like how you bounce back so quickly come tomorrow. Like somebody could have like this trying to destroy your night. And the next morning like you shining walking with a fucking mini poodle. And you got your fur on and all these diamonds and shit out of nowhere. And it's just like that. Like that's the come up. Like that's how much the come up is. That's how much the karma is like striking back. Like it it is it, slapping people in the face. Okay. But um, your verse here is for the life of everything. Oh, for the life of every living thing in his hand and the breath of every human being. And this is Job 1210. Somebody's birthday could be December 10th. Okay, something could be happening in on December 10th. Um, the numbers 12 and 10 could be of significance here. But um, what's that? Sagittarius. That's also the Will of Fortune card here. Okay, that's for movement. That's luck and expansion. Okay. Yeah, and the gift of love and light. Like I said, somebody doesn't like how you love, how you are loved, how people love you, right? Um, fairies could be significant as well. Um, but yeah, somebody is just really some with a trident. So some with the Little Mermaid, you could be seeing rainbows too. But um, it's like oh, the circle of light. Things, something's coming full circle. Things are coming full circle. Eight sixteen. Somebody that could be Luke, but we have Luke 8, 16. It said, read it. No one lights a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides it under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. See? Yeah. And that's the problem. Somebody wants to cover your light up, but it's like, no matter like where you are, what you're doing, like you're always highlighted. Like you're always spotted. People always gravitate to you. People always see you. You you attract children. You attract animals. Like I said, it's the way that you love and other people love you. Like how someone's upset. How someone didn't expect things to like work out. Somebody was definitely trying to like ruin you, collective. But I see like where you still you surrendered. You gave it to God. You know you still kept faith. You still show face, right? Um. And again, you move from the highest vibration of, of all, which is love, right? And this is what really bothers somebody. Like, no matter how much hate and darkness they tried to spew into your energy, right, that they tried to consume you with, it, your light outshine their demons any day, all day, to this day, and it will tomorrow and continuously. Like, with this white, this purity, like, you're so pure, you're a gentle soul. And it's like somebody really just wanted you to, like, not be that, right so we are going to start with finance oracle first and see what's going on like i said we're starting with credit repair right somebody again could want to come around and try to fix things with you because they need your help now right after they tried to ruin you they see that you got yourself back together you're on the up and up and now they want to come and act like they got amnesia forget that you know who came back it was a lazarus pulling the lazarus coming back trying to come back from the dead but um like they're trying to act like they didn't hurt you or do you do you wrong or, or <laughs> they ain't do you like that feel me or like they weren't a part of you know this plot this scheme you know to take you down like they weren't giggling and laughing at the lies being told about you like they weren't splitting up the money that was stolen with you or stolen from you um they weren't you know like Whatever was stolen from you, like, they didn't partake in it. Like, they didn't use it, right? Um, now they want to come and laugh and be in your face, ask for your assistance, ask for your guidance. How'd you do this? How'd you do that? Oh, how'd you afford this? how you afford that? How'd you get this job? Where'd you get those clothes? how you save this money? how you make that money? how you do... Like, somebody now want to come and be all up in your face and act like they weren't a part of any team that was coming up against you and trying to destroy you. Like, people really are coming towards you this week and needing your help. Like, these people need your help. 
and not for nothing i feel for majority of you a lot like with this become still so you may hear god i feel like like god's gonna show you and he you're gonna help these people but not to the extent that they think you're going to help them if that makes sense and for some of these folks you might actually give them more help than they could have ever thought or imagined or that they would have ever received from the people who were shitting on you with them right and it's gonna it's gonna hurt these people it's gonna damage these people like these people gonna confess everything every fucking thing like everything so let's see let's get this finance um be wise budget better ain't nothing wrong with a sale ain't nothing wrong with coupons ain't nothing wrong with buying in a boat for certain things you know that so that you can get the bigger deal yeah saving money as the first card that's coming out when we're talking about finances here okay it's time for you to plant that seed whatever those things are that you've been dreaming of that you've been wanting to do especially when as we're um, getting ready to close out 2023 soon and go in 2024 it's time for you to start saving up that money okay everywhere that you can yeah overspending watch your spending cut down on your spending like budget okay we're gonna get two more from here what else spirit what else for finances for the collective what do they need to know this week creativity a lot of you guys are sitting on some sort of idea here that is going to um produce a lot of um and come for you you need to get on it now okay um i feel like you know there might be some lack of clarity or like true direction or guidance or you can't get everything out in full circle you may need to go spend some time out in nature um look at a sunset look at a sunrise you know go for a nice walk clear your mind clear your space so that way this um download yeah become still right so that way um this download from god can come through a lot clearer so that way you can get the message so that way you know you know how to move and what to do i'm sitting on the dock of the bay like that's literally what um i was telling my home girl yesterday and i was just like yo like i'm just sitting on the dock of the bay and not for nothing i mean i'm i'm very youthful at heart in my heart like i have a very youthful heart but i have a very old soul so it was like i'm like damn she probably even know what that song is <laughs> but it was like, you know, sitting on the dock of a bay, watching the time roll away, you know, sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. OK, but it's like in my case, it was like, you know, I'm not just like I'm not wasting time, but I am sitting on the dock of the bay and I'm watching. I'm watching time go by, but I'm also utilizing this time while I'm sitting on this dock of the bay. Feel me? So for me, like, you know, while I'm sitting on this dock of the bay, I'm getting this creative spark. So a lot of you guys, you might have to go sit on, you know, your dock of the bay you know whatever or whether it's by a riverbank or sitting in the park you know sitting in your yard or i don't know yes your, your safe space your praise your prayer space but i really feel like you know a lot of you guys you need to get outside so that way you can like you know get those fresh new ideas here yeah because there's some huge decisions here okay literally you could need to choose a place with a red door or something about a red door here but uh, or the color red or like there's a decision that you need to make and you need to be very grounded in this so that's why like you need to get out in nature you know cleanse your energy become still right so that you can hear god so that way you can make the right decision because there is a big decision here that needs to be made this week um and i do feel like it's in the direction of like you know how you're going to um produce more income right how you're going to go about it so what else we have yeah and pay your bills i heard say my name say my name and that they have i don't even know why that song will be the song where there is bills 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 um somebody could have an orange car i'm also getting green here those colors are very like hmm okay um or even like a burgundy colored like maroon color burgundy car um but paying your bills this week will be very significant or don't worry about paying your bills okay i mean not saying like don't pay your bills bitch they gonna cut your shit off or kick you the fuck out pay your fucking bills but it's like don't be so worried and stressed out over your bills because i do feel like a way will be made something's going to happen like i said this is about budgeting right that's why the whole saving your money coming up with a side hustle or looking at you know the way you know, if you have that business idea, start getting on it so that way you can start producing that income, right? Um, but paying your bills, don't worry. Um, those bills will be paid. God's going to take care of them, right? Yeah, receipts. Um, also, man, yeah, orange. Orange is very significant here. Um, what is that, your sacral chakra? Yeah, your creativity, okay? <laughs> that creativity, I'm telling you, it's about to help you pay these bills, baby. But, um, 
Make sure you're holding on to your receipts and your confirmations because somebody might try to say that you didn't pay a bill or that they didn't receive your payment, but you have like the money order or you have the check receipt, the carbon copy, or you have like your confirmation number or something like that. Like just make sure you're holding on to your receipts. Um, I see like a box, a box with like little tabs. I don't know if somebody's creating one with like in, use an index card, but either it's like a file system. Um, develop a good filing system this week so that way you can hold on to all important documents and all like your receipts and stuff like that. So, because it's like I feel like somebody's gonna come around and try to say that you didn't pay something or you didn't do something. Um, some of you guys might also have to produce a receipt for some for some sort of deposit or some shit like that, or to say that you paid something. And I feel like this is something that could be of some time ago. Somebody's coming around and trying to be like, oh, you never paid this month. But you, you have your confirmation. Like, just get your receipts and stuff in order, okay? I'm also hearing, like, tax documents as well, okay? Yeah, somebody's definitely going to approach and try to say something. But I'm also picking up, like, for tax purposes, um, especially my business owners, you know, if you actually file, you know, you're not one of those... You know, if you like legit and you actually file, um, get your receipts in order, get your things together. So that way it can be easier for you to um, file your taxes right off. And I'm also picking up to save. Uh, like if you do get a refund, I see a 50. Save half, at least save half. You're going to want to or need to save half because you're going to need this money down the line. So at least do, do the best you can to save half. Um, the way I look at it, especially like when I get bonuses and stuff like that, like that's always money that I never counted on having within my budget or to maintain. So I always save at least half because it's, it's money I wasn't expecting. It's just something that, you know, I can put in my savings. I save half. I use about 25% to pay bills in advance or pay down something or whatever. Then I use the other 25% depending on how large the sum of money is or whatever. And, you know, I might, you know, put it towards a vacation. Maybe I'm saving for a bigger vacation or we might do a weekend getaway, me and my children. Or, you know, I'll go splurge on them. You know, feel me? I'll go splurge on them, upgrade the house, you know, a house upgrade or something like that. Or I'll go splurge on them or whatever, whatever. But I am getting 50% of any extra monies, <laughs> any extra monies you get, you want to save at least half, at least 50%. I don't care if it's down to some shit where you're like, well, I, that half of this is $13.67. Then, bitch, save $13.67. And you have another thirteen sixty seven to, I don't know, if you want to pay freaking $6 and I don't know, what is that, 80 84 cent on a bill and then you know buy yourself a good like a, a good coffee with the other six dollars i don't know but if 1367 is half of whatever it is that you know you're getting extra save that 1367 okay so we're gonna pull some place oracles here and like i said the balls in your court a lot of you guys um you like i said there's people who are competing around you okay very competitive energy um people who were trying to like like i said over somebody tried to do you boy i'm just like they tried to do you boy like tried to fight you whether this is physically spiritually you know just in like your day to day like somebody was, like trying to do you like one up you and all that shit feel me but they, they don't understand like you're trained you're you're an athlete like this is this is your um what are, i'm hearing a deca a deca a decathon a decathon that's 10 events like you outshine at every event no matter how somebody want to how to play you or see it or talk about you or whatever like you're gonna outshine on no matter what the fucking event is like somebody keep competing with you and they don't understand that the only person that you're competing with is who you were yesterday, who you were an hour ago, who you were a minute ago, who you were a second ago. Somebody don't understand that the best score is the top, like the best score or the record, the best record that you're trying to beat is your record. You set the record. You set the bar and you're only trying to beat your record and your bar. Like somebody doesn't understand that right now, like at all, like. I do feel like somebody want to see if they can get you caught up or like in your feelings or some shit like that or get you to show out or lose your foot or something. But like, no, it's a no. Like the ball's in your court. Like somebody has done too much. Like I said, somebody needs your help. People need your help. All those people who were shitting on you, they need your help. They shitted on you and now they need to use your butt wipes. 
They need your wet wipes. Go get your wet wipes. Go get somebody from one of those boroughs in the city in New York. Somebody could be from Boston too, because the way I said that was very it was very so much cross of a Boston and no joke in Hoboken. So even New Jersey. Okay. Maybe we got a tr somebody from the tri state area. Let's see. I just seen New Orleans flash across my face. I don't know. Somebody thought something was easy. Facile. Because I think that's like easy. I think that means like easy in Latin. Like, like facile. So, doctor, make it easy. That makes sense, Dr. Facile. <laughs> but not really. There's always a consequence to him. I don't know why he's coming up either. But whatever. What was it? Nine? Something with the number nine. That's what I saw. Nine. You might have like extra uninvited guests for the holidays. And I said it how I said it. Um, let's see. The bank. Yeah. <laughs> you can think I stand on it. I'm a stand on it. What well, he said. You could bank on it. Hey, burner boy. Um. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> you can bank on it. I'm telling you, 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 don't worry about your money. You be good here. But I do feel like that is a heavy focus. Somebody's trying to fuck with that so that way you can't move forward, right? Uh, money can't buy happiness or whatever, but, I mean, it is something that we need as a, a survival tool. And so they say money can't buy happiness, but it sure as hell can help us buy the things to keep our vibrations high and to help us raise the vibrations of those around us, right? Okay, so... What we have here, we're going to get five from the Places Oracle. Mm. Two more. This is a very... It's a lot of evening energy going into the night. I mean, farming happens at the crack of dawn. That's some early morning thing. And we got a supermarket. Grocery shopping, variety, fresh produce, um, eating better, eating healthier here, guys. Okay. I just heard supermarket sweep. So, I don't know if y'all ever, I used to watch that show all the time. I still watch it now. <laughs> but, like, I watch old, old episodes. But, um, it's the show where, like, they answer all these questions based off of, like, food or whatever. And then at the end, they race through to see if they can get, like, a high total, like, to answer these questions to, like, win all these massive amounts of money. But, um, I do see that, you know, you, you will be, um, busy this week, okay? Because that's giving me the vibe of, like, running, um, it, obviously, right? But it's, like, running a lot of errands, having a lot of places to be, you know, and, like, getting it all done, um, feeling like you're short on time, you know, trying, and, like, in the, in the game show, it's, like, they got to answer questions and stuff like that, and then that's how they gain time and get extra time and stuff like that, and, you know, have a long enough time to run around and get things done, you know, whatever, to, like, to run and grab the highest total amount of food. So I feel like, you know, right now you're trying to get all your line, all your ducks in a row here this week. So that way you can just knock everything out, right? You're trying to gain up all the time, all the momentum. So that way you could just knock things out. We have a ship here. Okay. You could be dealing with a water sign here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces with this um boat. But um also somebody could be in the Navy. Um, Y'all might see my dog walk through. I hope she don't be a pest and like walk on the cars because she's good for that. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't you do it. But yeah, um, I don't know Nautica, the actual name brand. Um, I'm seeing more house stuff. So you could be getting new sheets or something, new towels. Maybe Nautica's the brand. I don't know. But um, there is some sort of travel. But you know, like when you get on a cruising, being on cruise control too, like take it easy. Some of you guys also need to take a spiritual bath as well. Um, I, I don't care how you get here, get here, whatever. I don't, I'm hearing a song, but I'm not pulling all the words because it's talk about how they can travel. You could travel by an airplane, you could travel by a steamboat, you could travel by a train. You, I don't care how you get here, just get here. So I feel like no matter what it's taking, like you're just getting there, okay? Um, like I said, this is definitely needing to be by the water, get by the water, 
okay there's a heavy emphasis on water or needing to drink more water especially with the supermarket energy here okay the next card that came out was mountains here yeah like i feel like if you can't um the titanic something's going down i'm telling you because somebody does want to come in and confess and tell the truth about shit too this week um <clears throat> yeah somebody could come in and want to pour their emotions i feel like they this has been like and i don't know why i'm getting more like grand gesture type of um like somebody has awoken to some sort of truth with this light around this mountain here some sort of clarity went through some awakening somebody realizes that they need to come in and um either apologize here okay somebody wants your for forgiveness somebody wants to come out of the dark somebody wants to come out of the cold with you um this could be a lover or somebody who was potential who had the potential to be a lover this person wants to come back around they want to they want to talk to you like they want you to have a different perspective on them like they they want they're wandering up upon the uh, the sky so bright like well how what the fuck somewhere over the rainbow and i said rainbows were significant somebody's like wishing on a star and everything like they want to come in they want to apologize to you they want to express their emotions their feelings to you for a lot of you guys i also feel like somebody wants to come in and tell you about i feel like it's just been a lot of fucking rumors like a lot of you guys definitely are on cruise control too as you're elevating um i do see some of you guys moon gazing at this time okay I, this farm car in reverse and it's crazy like I, i'm not i don't typically read these in reverse like i don't see but i do like with this farm coming up in reverse and it's like all these other cars are more like afternoon evening you know they're not sunny days but this has like the most sun in it but it's in reverse it's still kind of like it's still giving that vibe but farming is like agricultural work, livestock rearing okay like eating natural healthy like i feel like somebody know that they weren't like good for your health they weren't being positive right somebody wasn't putting in the hard work because it's like when you're farming like, you know, you got to work. You got to wake up early. You got to feed everybody, do all this, pluck all that, water all this, whatever, whatever. They be up pretty damn early with the roosters, feel me, trying to get shit done. But I feel like somebody realizes that they didn't invest in you as they should have. But it's like they still want this produce. Okay, so somebody didn't invest. They want this fresh produce. Somebody tired of going to this supermarket. Supermarket sweet. The supermarket could be getting busted or something like that, and I'm hypo I'm using it as a hypothetical or whatever or um analogy. Like the supermarket could be a person, right? Somebody who like a little Caesars. Mm -hmm. It's a little Caesars energy. Okay. Somebody kept going to these little Caesar energies because they was quick and they had they didn't want to put the work in. They didn't want to make their own. And somebody realizing that now that you know you. Even though you are more like a farm, like you require work, feel me, right? When they first probably approach you, you look like a barren land. And they was just like, oh, I got to till this and I got to, you know, work the land, fertilize it. Then I got to plant the seed. I don't want to do all that. Somebody didn't want to do that. Somebody didn't see, didn't see it as, you know, didn't see you worthy of doing that to or with or whatever. But it's like now I feel like somebody's thinking back on that. Like, well, damn, like. I should have put in this effort. I should have put in this work with this person. I feel like that's why they want to come through at this point. Yeah, government building, public services. Somebody sees that, you know, you, like I said, you the truth, yo. Like, you still was able to provide and produce and do better. And it's crazy because, like, the supermarket, I don't know. Um, this is getting deep. This is, like, going whole GMO and everything else. This is, like, government food, government's, like, government rule like how they got those those agriculture laws and all this shit and it's like somebody's realizing like you still obey and go through like you still do what you're supposed to do or like you're you big shit and it's crazy because they didn't put this work in with you and it's like i told you she was gonna do that you they didn't put this effort and energy in with you and now they're seeing that you still is the little red hen the little red hen is coming up in this energy too you did all this work and that's why i'm saying like you've been paying these bills you've been doing everything on your own you got the receipts to show it show that it came out your account that you pay for all of this shit right that these were our ideas like this was all your shit that you was putting in all this work 
somebody was not helping you. Somebody did not help you and they know that they didn't. And somebody thought about this and now they're seeing that you're being recognized for everything that you have been doing, what you've been able to produce, right? Um, you're getting grants, like you're getting those approvals, right? You're getting that help. I am also feel that whatever lies, some, some sort of scandal or something somebody was trying to do, the government knows you knows that you're the truth i was picking up like fast stuff but i didn't want to like really bring that into this reader because like nah nah but no yeah it's here somebody could have tried to even make a false report on you that shit ain't even it ain't even it ain't even grab roots somebody tried to plant these seeds they was working long ass fucking hours for nothing now they stuck in this dark trying to get over this mountain you cruising you 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 gone you don't care the government know the truth. These um authority figures know what's up, okay? And we got benches, rest, relaxation, comfort, pause, ponder. Yeah, you can you can relax. I'm telling you, like you've been cruising, you've been minding your business, you've been you know floating your own boat, <laughs> paddling your own canoe, riding in your lonely kayak. You feel me? You've been doing it, and I feel like, you know, you, you had to have a high perspective. Like, you also realize that some of these folks weren't uh, worth your effort and stuff or whatever. Like, stop working so hard on shit. Hmm. A lot of you guys, though, aside from that, definitely do rest, do break. Um, uh, There's so many messages coming. I'm trying to get them all. If you are worried about bills or money or whatever, like... Do try to apply for those governmental assistance programs. Do not be ashamed. Look, if you got to feed your kids or you got to feed whatever, it ain't nothing wrong with a food stamp. I'm letting you know that right now. If you pregnant, young ma'am, <laughs> shit, young sir, and you worried about milk or whatever, the basics, ain't nothing wrong with getting wet. Ain't nothing wrong with using this assistance. It's here for us. I'm pretty sure that you weren't a lazy bum like your entire life or whatever, or you have no purposes to be that. I pray that you're not, especially watching me, because um, I uplift. Look, we workers over here. We work hard for what we do. We work hard, okay, for everything that we have and we obtain. We don't lie, steep, chill, kill, none of that. We go out here and we do it by ourselves, and we do it with the help of God, okay? But like I said, don't feel ashamed to use these government assistance programs, especially if you like, you know, you somebody who a hard worker and you used to work in and you feel kind of embarrassed because, you know, you got to get some help. Don't be embarrassed. OK, do what you got to do. It's only temporary. You're going to get it together. And like I said, save the money. Think of this creativity. Pay these bills. Do what you got to do. And if you got to count on the government to put some food on your table, then fuck it. That's yeah, shit. Eat. Get that strength so that you can get back up early in the morning and get back to work. OK, OK. Let's see. Let's get some from this heart's hidden secret. Like I said, there's some confessions coming through. Okay. People coming clean, sending you messages here. All right. Somebody's repenting. This could be a church person as well, like a pastor or something, a deacon. Hell, it could just be a church member. Somebody who felt like they was holy, holier than thou. Somebody could be finding out that somebody is not who the hell they said they were. Somebody is very evil and demonic. But like I said, somebody's also coming in to apologize. Um, for those of you who was down with the hate train, for those of you who, those people who was using you, who, who screwed you over, right? People who tried to block you, people who partaked in the gossip, people who partaked in the gang stalking, people who, you know, was, a, was with the work crowd that was, you know, trying to sabotage your work, Right? They want to come in and they want to apologize. They want your forgiveness. They have a confession because they don't want to get in trouble. So they feel like if they can, please, please let me testify. Hey, hey, you accuse me of a, you accuse me of a, pl please let me testify. Okay. Um, somebody last name Harris. Common sense ain't so common. Okay. Somebody definitely losing that court case. Yeah. Whoever tried to lie on you. Yeah. Finality. Okay, yeah, farewell closure. Goodbye, farewell to you, my friends. <laughs> For now, until we meet again, it's been great to play and sing together in the box. And now it's time to say goodbye. Okay, if you know, you know. Time to say goodbye. Um, I'm seeing the, the change and courage card in the um, yin yang oracle. And they got a chick on there. And the masculine energy. Like, I feel like you have found up the courage. Like, you have tapped into your masculine energy, like, um, a lot stronger. Like, if you're, 
it doesn't matter, okay? Because we have them both. But I feel like your masculine energy is at its peak right now, okay? Especially, like I said, with that Jupiter energy, Sag energy. Sag is a masculine sign, okay? It's a masculine energy. I feel like you're just like, whatever, and you're gone. Like I said, you're cruising, you're, you're moving on, you're traveling, you're relocating, you're getting up, and you're going. Like I said, just get here. You, however you're going to get there, you're going to get there. By a boat, by a train, it don't matter. You're going to get there. Um, I feel like somebody also wants to come through and travel towards you because, again, somebody needs closure. Somebody wants to come and apologize. Like I said, somebody had an awakening, right? Somebody is thinking of you, okay? Somebody could be a ginger, or you could be hearing that song. Like, I saw, like, a couple songs with that title, but then it's, like, ginger. There's one by, like, Wizkid named that song or whatever. I don't know. You could, like, ginger candies, too, not for nothing, all right? Um, or somebody could just be a redhead, but um, there's a, this also could be a dude leaving a chick. She a dirty blonde, strawberry blonde. Somebody could be a blonde, color their hair blonde. Because she got brunette eyebrows, so she's bleached. It's not even her real hair color. Um, Whatever. Like I said, something with the color maroon, too. Again. Okay, with this paying bills. Oh, so a dude could be tired of paying somebody bills. He dipping. This bitch thinking. She like, oh, shit. What else we got here? Because that just, like, came out while I was talking. But like I said, I do feel like, you know, you're moving on. Somebody else could be moving on, coming towards you. Like like I said, um, somebody, there could be like one main culprit energy. And like the people are just like leaving this person behind now because they realize that, you know, you're a hater and you try to set the collective up. So, or everything that you said about them wasn't even fucking true. Yeah, beauty. Like you're, somebody realized how kind hearted you were, how beautiful you were. Like in reality, like in true life and real life. And it's just like, yo, like... In this higher perspective, somebody sees that and it was like, yo, they they lie. Like you didn't go and retaliate collective. You didn't go back and play the hate game. You didn't go and gather you up a group of dumbass people to do a smear campaign, a hate campaign, perform hate crimes, destroy somebody. Like you didn't do that. You stayed loving. You stayed fertile. Some of you people, your parents, right? You stayed focused on your kids. You still gave to your family, even when they gave you your their ass to kiss, right? Like you were still there. Yeah, healing. You are a healer, okay? You could do um what I do. You could be a Reiki healer. You could work with herbs, right? Crystals, but you're a healer. You have a healing power. You release these people. You cleanse and purify not only your energy, but those of people around you. Like you, you're good at this. You can work in the medical field, right? You can have healing hands. It's something that you do that is healing. Right? You know how to help people release. Like, I don't know. Is is given I just seen um like a a, a a a staring gaze. So it's like um in Twilight when they had their daughter Renezme and she had that ability to like kinda like do this healing thing where she like put her hand on your face and she could just like see you and like give you this healing touch. That's like y'all, like y'all got this healing energy, bro. And it's like, so like in that movie, in the movie, if you haven't seen it, like the um, vampire council or whatever was a afraid of her or whatever, was afraid of this child because it was like, oh, this child is going to, you know, destroy us all. And it was like, she wasn't even like that um, or whatever. Like, really? I told you she, my dog is the cutest, but she knows she wrong for this. She knows she wrong. She looked dead at me. But whatever, we're going to love her. Her name's Cheryl. Y'all say hi. <laughs> but yeah, like, you're a healer, though. And I feel like that, you know, somebody didn't want to believe that. Somebody was also trying to stop you from doing your practices or, like, from helping others. Like, somebody didn't want you to invest in it. Somebody did not want you to put hard work and energy into this. But I feel like not only have you cleansed that negative energy out, like you have revitalized yourself. Somebody is really trying to suck this life out of you so that you would not perform, so that you would not invest in doing this. Yeah, you become very much so aware. Very much so aware. The death. Somebody was <laughs> deep. The feelings, the emotions, rejection, I'm telling you. Somebody definitely was trying to make it seem like you you don't know what you're doing. Or, I don't know shit on you. Like, even if this is, like, work, I'm telling you. Mm, it struck. I didn't even know I was doing that. Someday, one day, there's, um, one day at a time. 
take it one day at a time. Just relax. Sit still, listen to God, okay? Oh, I realize it did it. Oh, the video's long. Oh, oh well, we're at the end anyway. All right, let's get some of these oracle cards. My destiny will reveal itself in time. And it is. People are seeing who you are and it is and like seeing, you know, who you truly are, despite what everybody has been trying to say. And it is um it's fucking them up. Yeah, practice chakra healing. Like I said, draw the real deal here with that healing. I'm telling you, you will not stand in the shadow of another. Like you are the real deal. People are finding out right on the street is you are the truth. Who you say you are, what you've been through, what you have done and gone through, what you had to use, whether you as a person who had to use government assist, like you admit to this stuff and you have no shame and it has worked out fine for you. Like somebody really tried to play you and clown you, but everybody's about to see. Like, I, oh, she a Bible hug and honk if you love Jesus type of person. So? So? How you think, what? Mm -mm. That's not, that's another day. I can embrace change. Yeah, you see that you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You don't get fucked. I'm a miracle. You know the value of yourself. This is what's pissing people off. People who try to tarnish your image, who try to destroy you. Yeah, I will heal and move on. And that's what you did. They can't see your value. You know your value. Yeah, embrace change. I can embrace change, embrace change. And that's what you're doing. You're embracing these changes. Yeah, saying yes, saying yes to the call, saying yes to everything, you know, that's coming towards you. You're, you're not afraid. You've been w walking with God. You've been still and listening to God and he's been guiding your way. Yeah, it came back around. I will heal and move on. And angels are all around you, energizing your soul. <sighs> Told you. As I said, you are listening to God. Say yes. It came back around. You got a lot of opportunities coming towards you this week. I'm telling you, people about to be in shock and awe. Lots of it. Conclusions are within reach. Okay. Hopefully I can get the video to load up because it's pretty long. Ooh, these flew everywhere. Let me get this. Yeah, surrender to the divine, which I think like you have. Like you've been surrendering. And this is what people need to understand and do. Like if they want to know how you got where you are and where how you're going, where you're going, it's because the adjustments that were required, you made them. You surrender to the divine. And this is something that they still need to do, right? Nothing is yet set in stone. Like, you know, karmic energy who watch, understand that. Nothing's yet set in stone. You can't change your way. Heal and move on. That's what you need to do. Yeah, have faith in your dreams. Heal and move on. Have faith in your dreams. Stop trying to destroy the next person. Collective, it's time to take action, okay? Say yes to whatever is coming towards you this week, okay? And believe in the impossible, Karmic, if you watching, take that advice too. Believe in yourself and stop believing and hating others because it's not getting you nowhere. I'm pretty sure you're seeing that this week, okay? Show the world the real you and stop being fake and phony and stop trying to impress other people by putting other folks down. I can't stand a motherfucker who feel that, you know, if I taint your image, if I talk about you, if I put you down, it's going to make me look superior. No. At the end of the day, it makes you look like a ass. It look, makes you look jealous, envious, and like a hater. Especially when people find out the truth. That all you was doing was trying to tarnish another person, put another person down so that you can look like you're up. Because you're not even fucking up. You don't even build yourself up. You ain't got shit on the up and up. But you figure if you put somebody down and put them below your level because you can't elevate, then it makes you seem like you're a better person or the better option. No, the fuck you're not. You're beyond, you're trash. You're beyond trash. And now when a collective or this person that you're doing this shit to elevates back to where they were and continues to exceed those expectations, you're going to really look dumb. And that's what's happening this week. These motherfuckers is about to look dumb. Let's get our um, Proverbs. Yeah, sensible people control their temple. They control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. And somebody really wanted you to like be out of pocket, write all these changes. I can embrace change. You're embracing change, 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 leaving. When I told you this car remind me of the change and the courage, changing, and you're going with the flow, and it's all good.
You're embracing the change. It's like somebody was trying to do all these things, causing all these mishaps, causing like making you having to change your direction, change your thoughts, change your theories, change your plan. But you just kept healing. You kept moving on. You kept doing what you had to do. Right. Becoming still no matter what they was doing, it was putting you in some sort of isolation. It was shutting you down, but it worked out. You overlooked what was going wrong again, believing in the impossible. Continue to have faith in your dreams here. OK, Proverbs 19, 11, the numbers are of significance, guy. OK, and here's that field, the pharma field. Somebody didn't want you to work, but you controlled yourself. Somebody really wants you to lose your job, lose your mind, lose what you have based off of emotions. Mm, sad. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16, 24. Something could happen during the week of the 16th to the 24th. I know that is Thanksgiving in that week. Again, I said family, right? Two lips. Somebody, yeah, somebody definitely could be saying something, okay? A confession coming through. And then we have, by wisdom, a house is built. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Ooh, Proverbs 24, um, verses 3 through 6. Um, city, again, that's moving, okay? That's a quiet little house, all right? Then um, top and bottom, we have a wise youth harvest in the summer, but one who sleeps during the harvest is a disgrace. Proverbs 10, 5. I feel like I said, any lack, any deficit, you about to come up out of that. You've been working on it, saving that money. Um, and if not, save, okay? Save, save, save. And everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. Proverbs 15, 23, okay? And whatever somebody says, even if my message might have struck a nerve, you know, struck a chord, because maybe you relate to some of the not so positive elements or sides of this, it's all good, right? Um, You're just hearing the right words at the right time. And if it's triggering you or making you realize you need to wake up and do something different, then good. That's what this message is supposed to do. That's what these messages are supposed to do. It's supposed to trigger you so that you can heal, so that you can go and do what you need to do, so that you can move for your highest vibration, not only for yourself, but for those around you. So collective, you know I love your face. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But that has been our message for today. I hope you um, use that 1111 portal to your highest good, your highest advantage, and for those around you, right? Um, <laughs> her little pause. And until the next time we speak, peace out.